As I said some time earlier, that uh, Ghana is the Africa's capital of enjoyment. Uh, some people didn't believe me. Yeah! Now, let me give you some of the proof. So, uh, Little Bill, aka uh, Skins Gag, who is a grime artist, a rapper from uh, London, UK, made this post. If you haven't been to Ghana, please let me warn you. You will not get any sleep. Daytime party slash lunch, nighttime party. Then, after party, 3 a.m. to a twist. Food by the beach, 7 a.m. Nighttime, 8 a.m. Then do it all over again the next day. Good luck if you have a plan. Ghana has a plan for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's from Little Puzzle. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, you all know that, uh, during the, uh, the holidays, or should I say during Christmas, some diasporans came to town, and, uh, some of these diasporans were, I mean, I think, uh, Chance the Rapper, who is still in Ghana, uh, he made a post on Twitter, a couple of posts indicating that, uh, he is in Ghana, and it looks like, uh, his parents were Pan-Africanists and, you know, they set up some schools. So he came to Ghana for uh, his uh, great-grandmother's uh, funeral. And, uh, yeah, he has been showcasing Ghana on uh, social media. And I think that uh, we need to give him an applause for that. Yeah, and these are some of his posts he said that have done everything in Ghana except meet at Sakode. And then Yeah. <laughs> anyway that was uh that was sweet of him. And I also said, Akra, I love you, you saved my life. Yeah, I don't know whether it was going through depression or something like that. But um the post that's really or the, the celebrity that really uh, you know caused the traffic on Twitter was uh Ari Lennox. Yeah, Ari Lennox, if you don't know who Ari Lennox is, he is an American uh, I don't know, I think it's an R and B artist, uh, who is signed to uh J. Cole's uh, record label, and uh, I don't know what happened to her last year, and it seems like uh, she was really depressed, and uh, she needed a breather, and uh, Ghana was an escape plan for her, and Aww. she made a couple of quotes, uh, posts, utilizing utilize uh, Ghana, if you prefer you little Jason. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you she was you little Jason Ghana, and um, at first she made a post that depression and anxiety is not fun, and it's to be nice to get a break from it, and also make, and I don't know, and, and I don't how long, I think she wanted to say I don't know how long it will last, but I'll cling to this. Um, well, it's a very good feeling to consistently wake up with peace and happiness. I really owe that to Ghana. Wow, it's rare. Yeah, the same thing. So, um, she said a lot of good things about Ghana. And, yeah, I, I love it when, uh, you know, um, these diasporas and, uh, stars make her say good things about Africa in general. And, uh, she made this <laughs> popular post, which was, uh, yeah, Ghana is the most beautiful country in the world. And this post that she made got a lot of people going on social media, you know, uh, saying, claiming that she has been paid by the government to say this and all that. And, uh, Chief of these people were African Americans who were also diasporans. Saying that, I mean, I'm not gonna dismiss the fact that there were some Ghanaians who were part. And, uh, yeah, I really, uh, 
I really felt bad when I saw that. Aww. And uh, among these people was a very peculiar post I saw by a lady on Twitter. And uh, she said that, uh, like, to be Charlie, men of all for not in them, they the bitch there, the chat class you. Yeah, I mean, she made, I think she was uh, re- replying to the fe- a tweet, but I will never forget, I said, I will never forget Sunday crying. The first time going to a beach in Ghana, it was so triggering, and I didn't feel alone, my heart ached, aches for my ancestors. It was a surreal experience, and uh, this lady, with the Twitter handle, Japa Sexual, at uh, Khalid Babi, Khalid Babi, or whatever, and, uh, you know, Upon seeing the lady's handle, I remembered I have seen her handle somewhere. I've seen her like, tweet somewhere before. And lo and behold, I got into contact with that tweet. And, uh, you know, this lady is a Nigerian living in Ghana. And yeah, I remember when uh, Shatawale made that infamous quote against Nigerians, where he said, sorry, who said, <laughs> um, Nigerian uh, artists and all that, and it became a whole noise. This lady made this post around that time. Honestly, I didn't want to talk about it because I don't believe in negative energy, and I didn't want to perpetuate it because I'm <laughs> not organized believe in Chatawali's um, quotes, and he is the one who knows what he's saying about. Honestly, I don't um, subscribe to it, so I didn't want to even comment about it, so that you will get a lot of t- attention. So, uh, this lady, by the name of Japa Seshwa, said that uh, I moved to this country, which is Ghana, when I was 10 years old. The bullying, they bullied me for being Nigerian, for having a Nigerian accent, and you sit and tell me that I made that hate up in my head. Seek for the voice of wisdom before you tweet. You ought to be more intelligent. Yeah, honestly, I really feel bad for what she went to. Personally, I have friends who are from Nigeria, and uh, I haven't seen anyone bully them before. Sometimes, even make jokes of, and it's, I don't think it's that's even a uh, bully, but I mean, she, I don't know where she's from, I don't know where she relocated to, and I don't know why she was bullied, but, I mean, nowadays people also make up stories to just make them get an attention of you, like they are, uh, victims or special or whatever. But, I mean, I mean, she's entitled to what, um, she claims, and, uh, I'm sorry for that, but, you know, she herself is a bully. For being having Lennox and making it look as if she, her Lennox was lying and being over sentimental about her um, experience in Ghana. And, uh, you same person be crying like you're a victim. So now you see how ironic it is and you being, uh, uh, you being, uh, what, what word should I use? You being, uh, you. go and ask your grandfather. <laughs> a snake or a chameleon. So, because you were not being oppressed, you want to oppress somebody. So the main reason why you were crying that you were oppressed was because it was affecting you. But when it doesn't affect you, you would rather be an oppressor. And that is the situation we live in this world. Honestly, I felt bad when I saw that post from her. And I think that, um, Twitter needs to be sanitized. I don't know how, but I mean social media I know, but Twitter is a very rough road. Anyway, um all I have to say is um if you want to come with you come to equity, you need to come with a clean hands. This is ADB, that was my opinion. And yeah, I forgot. Ariana said that um she's not moved by what um 
people are saying, and she's not moved by the comments and the bullying, and she would like to come to Ghana again. So, we thank God. Right and maybe be, I'm out. And we say bye bye. Thank you.